As many North Texas school districts plan to start the year online, families are increasingly turning to tutors or to each other. Collin County reporter Deanna Zoga shows us the scramble to navigate e-learning in the pandemic. Monday, Heather Alkinsell floated an idea on a Facebook page for Frisco parents, asking if any are willing to share a tutor when school starts. I try to see if there's other moms out there that are kind of in the same boat. What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? After experiencing online learning in the spring, Alkinsell is considering a learning pod, kind of a nanny share for tutors. Maybe a group of five or six sharing the expenses of school, maybe four hours a day, where they all can sit six feet apart, something. Somebody has to be creative. <laughs> and Alkinsell is not alone in looking for support. There is a desperate need for information and to connect. Michelle Ames moderates a Facebook page called Frisco ISD Virtual Learners. She started it last Tuesday. It's already surged to more than 2,000 members. How do I find information? Who knows what? And more minds working together is better than each of us individually. For families of older students, David Dillard, president of KD College Prep, says he's seeing a new interest in tutoring as parents worry their kids could fall behind at a critical time. I think they're very frustrated. Uh, many of them are mourning the life that they had before. Alkinsell says she has to get creative after pricing out a child care program with e-learning support. $1,400 a month for two kids to help them with online learning. Yeah. <laughs> kind of where I'm at. And for some families unable to afford any help with remote learning, the pandemic threatens to allow more kids to fall through the cracks. Deanna Zoga, NBC5.